Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video, we will focus on understanding the Spring MVC Interceptor and how to use it correctly. So let's talk about the Spring MVC Handler first. In order to understand the interceptors, uh, let's take a step back and look at the handler mapping. This maps a method to an URL so that dispatcher sublet will be able to invoke it when processing a request and the dispatcher sublet uses the handler adapter to actually invoke the method. Now that we understand the overall context, this is where the handler inter interceptor comes in. Uh, we will use the handler interceptor to perform action before handling, after handling or after completion uh, of a request. The interceptor can be used for cross-cutting concern to avoid repetitive handler code like logging, uh, security related configuration, caching, changing globally used parameter in a Spring model. Now when we talk about the a Spring handler interceptor, interceptors working with the handler mapping on the uh, a Spring framework that must implement uh, the handler interceptor interface. Uh, you can see we have a handler interceptor intercept in a handler interceptor interface and to implement your own interface you must implement this interface and there are there is just some classes which already implements this interface so you can see if we have a class is called handler intercept adapter that implements a sync handler interceptor and a sync handler interceptor interface extent handler handler interceptor so either you can create your own interceptor by in extending this class or by implementing this class uh, by implementing this interface so interface basically if you look into this uh, handler inter inter interceptor interface then this interface uh, contains the three main methods first we have a p handle it is called before the actual handler is executed but the view is not uh, generated yet then second method we have a post handler it is called after the handler is executed and finally we have a after completion uh, it is called after the complete request has finished and uh, view was generated these three methods provide flexibility to all kinds of pre-processing and post uh, pre and post processing of your uh, request in case of spring mbc uh, and a quick note the main difference between handler interceptor and handler interceptor uh, adapter is that the first one we need to override all three methods like pre handle post handle and after completion whereas in case of uh, in case of uh, handler interceptor adapter you may implement only required method right so if you create your interceptor by extending this class then you have option to select few methods whatever methods is required for you then those methods you can override but if you create your interceptor by implementing this interface then you need to override all three methods right so in java if you in java if your class implements certain interface then you need to override all its method right so it's a basic concept in java now here you can see the uh, pre handle if you look into the pre handle uh, method then notice that the method returns a boolean value which tells a spring if the request should be further processed by a handler if this returns the true then request will be further processing uh, or if it returns false then request will not be further processed next we'll look into the method is called uh, post handle so this method basically this method basically it is called immediately after the request is processed by the handler, handler adapter but before generating a view and it uh, can of course 
be used in many ways for example you may add a, a avatar of a logged user into a model the final method we need to implement the uh, custom handler interceptor is after completion right so we'll talk about the now after completion when when the view is successfully generated we can use this uh, hook to do the things like gather additional statistics uh, related to the request a final note to remember is that handler handler interceptor is registered to the spring configuration file right so uh, i have a lot of existing example if i go to the spring web configuration file and make sure that you have a in xml doc type you have a mbc namespace if you have a mbc namespace then you can configure sorry uh, interceptor like this mbc colon interceptors and here inside the interceptor you can have a tag it's called mbc interceptor to implement many interceptor and here inside this you can specify a bin uh, you can also specify uh, something which is called MBC mapping and this uh, gives you opportunity to uh, specify a path so if you want any any interceptor should only apply for the specific URL then that that things you can specify over here so uh, so that's all I have in this video tutorial guys so in this video we had a quick introduction on intercepting HTTP request using the Spring MVC handler interceptor. So in next video we are going to explore, we will have some hands on so that we will have a complete understanding about the Spring MVC interceptor. So thanks for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial.